Okay. Uh, this is the first is scallop. Okay. The first step is uh, scouting. I do uh, mono, yeah, um, um, mono manual fico. Audio, audio it's audio relatively less. for our standards. No. It's relatively high uh, lens, a uh, high yeah, audio, and then audio cataract, less. Audio. But it's okay. The aspiration is a little bit high, but I know it now to pay attention. And I'm very used to the to the no, less, less, not divide and conquer technique. Not totally banned. That's enough. This is also the technique that I'm still learning t uh, to my residents. And also using the caliper, this is also a technique that I learned to my residents because they have to know that, uh, well, they know it, of course, because I give regularly, I point out how important it is to be very accurate in the sizing of your uh, anterior capsulorexis. Then, yeah, you can already switch in the next step on the... Next uh, segment removal. Segments, yeah. Segment removal. Okay. Then the segment take removal... Take away the beauty of the... And the side port, I use the side ports Looks to so orient nice eventually the pieces if they are a little bit too mobile, but this is not the case apparently. It's coming up very well. They are coming very well. It's, uh, yes. it's very good. Well, in fact, these are the parameters. They adjusted the parameters of the outcome nice. and they put it here in this machine. Yeah, I have to pay attention because this is always when you use another machine, you have to manage and to see which are the aspiration forces. But I think that it is very important to have a sized and very well oriented, centered anterior capsulorexis because no this cortex. is in fact. Yes, this is in fact uh, less. important for the shrinkage and for the healing process of the capsular bag afterwards. Can you ask yes. the patient to look again in the Say again? In, in the in the lights? Oh. Yeah. Ah. Look into the light. No. Okay. And, and sorry. Uh, look to the light. The, yeah, you must look in the light else? of the microscope. That's it, huh? Linear. 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 Okay. Okay. Then irrigation aspiration. This is all not very new, of course, but I will also try to do afterwards the, uh, uh, the well, I will try, I have to do for this lens, a posterior capsulorexis. And uh, the caps posterior capsulorexis, I always do that under uh, topical anesthesia. Topical, that drops. Now, you know, the content of the lens capsule is emptied now. And now I'm going to refill the anterior chamber. And you will see that I'm not refilling the back as such. This is something that I will never do at any moment anymore of this stage of the surgery. Uh, I need a little bit of uh, just uh, water, BSS, and then the Helsinki needle. Yeah, this is good. Okay. I will also clean a little bit the capsular bag, the remnants, because I don't like to, to, to leave some remnants. Since I will make, of course, an opening between anterior and posterior capsule. Uh, as you notice, this was very daring and she did so beautifully with sort of so much control, a vacuum cleaning manually with the syringe and the cannula. Very nice, Sabe. Very beautiful. Excellent. Now, uh, the Abbe, can you give some details about this lens? The next step is now performing the posterior capsulorexis. I just would like to have a little bit sharp. Okay, because this is important.
Can we have the lights no. off here? Can we have the yeah. lights off? No, here? no, it's okay. Don't, don't put it small. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. You want the lights on? No, it's yeah, That's it's fine. okay. Then here, I just puncture. You see here, it's a small little puncture in the posterior capsule. Now I need. Uh, I will use now the the needle of the regular helon. I will use it to separate the anterior hyaloid. It's a little bit big. Can I have the other? Lights on, lights yeah, on, please. Lights on. Can I have the needle of the water that I just used? 